Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, um, today I'm going to be previewing Chelsea at home and it's, it's going to be another interesting one this weekend. The last few weeks, honestly, um, it's I've really summed up our season to be honest, haven't I? Um, I mean, I'm still, I still can't, can't describe um, the Leeds game from a few weeks ago. I think I've just about got over it now, just about, um, but I still can't really put it into words. And then, you know, that's that's followed up by another really, really strange performance away at Forest, which we somehow, you know, in, in typical Wolves fashion, we somehow dug a point out of it. Um, which, I think, if you only watch the first half, if you only watch the first half, in my personal opinion, you'd think, okay... You deserve, you deserve at least a point out of that based on that performance. Some may say, some may say that we didn't play well, well the first half, the whole game really, and I could, I could see where they're coming from. But I think, I think we, we did, we did play all right. We did play, actually go forward and create a couple of really good opportunities, which I think merits. Uh, a decent uh, first half performance um, ba based on what, what we've seen so far this season. The first, I think that the most standout opportunity we created, um, apart from the goal really, I think in, in the entire game was um, a cross in, uh, a really nice cross in from Mateus Nunes. Um, and then a, a flick on, I'm not sure, I can't quite remember who it was from, um, but it crashed onto the crush bar and I think uh, it's another one you can maybe look look back in hindsight, um, like like the uh, Nick Pope red card and you know the penalty that we didn't get. Um, so many of those kind of um, nearly moments um, and various different uh, decisions and so many things we've we've had to cling on to this season rather than you know actually scoring goals and creating chances. Uh, it's been that kind of season, hasn't it? But I think, you know, <laughs> you could say perhaps that if that had gone in um, off the underside of the bar rather than crashing the crossbar and coming back out, it might have been a different game. Who knows? But then again, you could say second half, we're absolutely dreadful and still managed to pull something out of the game. A wonderful finish, though. I can't I can't knock the finish and the celebration. I mean, the finish from Pedenz was absolutely sublime and something, you know, that killer instinct, if only... That's the most. I think that's the most frustrating thing that we've seen all season. You know, when we're not we're not what when we're not playing well and we somehow dig out a result, um, and like like against Forest and perhaps even against um, Spurs of the week where we got the three points, but um, we didn't necessarily um, play to our our full strengths. Um, perhaps as when we when we played um, someone like like Liverpool. Um, it feels like ages ago that game. It's that's the most frustrating part is when we do create the chances when we're not playing well and we somehow, you know, carve out a goal from absolutely nowhere and, and that leads to a result from absolutely nowhere. That's the most frustrating part because um you know if we did that from the start of the game we wouldn't <laughs> we wouldn't be where we are now and we'd perhaps be comfortably mid table. Uh, <laughs> never never has, you know, um, an average twelfth place, like we like we like we finished um, in um, Nuno's final season, been so so appealing right now. Um, I was quite intrigued, so I was I was looking earlier. Um, I was looking earlier because obviously we're in a similar position right now, but the table is so so tight. I don't think it's ever been this tight. I don't think there's been a relegation battle quite this tight where there's been so so many teams. You know, there's there's been. Um, Maybe at a maximum, I can remember two or three teams uh, like the 2010-11 relegation battle where you know um, uh, Blackburn were in it, Wigan were in it, Blackpool, Birmingham. I mean that's quite a few teams right down the bottom, but not all the way up to mid table. Um, it's insane. Um, and I was looking, like I was saying, I was looking at uh, a few hours ago. I was looking at uh, the Nuno's final season uh, where we weren't doing so well and. Uh, there were maybe some points where we looked a bit, look, uh, we looked a bit in trouble, and obviously we were struggling for goals during that season as well. And uh, there was what there was one point um, 
I was looking, we were 12th in the league, so similar to where we are now, we're 14th right now, uh, but only one point above the, the, the relegation zone. We were 12th, um, and we were 9 points clear of the relegation zone. It's just insane, it just goes to show how just crazy this season has been, and not necessarily in a good way. I, do, I don't know how to feel for this one, I really don't. Um, I... I mean, obviously, I'm going to this one, so it could it could turn out different. I have some sort of weird lucky charm um, when it comes to going to going to Wolves games. To be honest, so I've been going nearly ten years now. Um, Gillingham at home in League One was my first game um, I can really remember going to, and that was an absolute cracker, um, obviously. Um, and there was such a long time where I kept going to Wolves games, kept going. And we always seem to put in a shift, and we never seem to we never seem to lose. Even I guess in, even even in the season where um, we weren't doing so well, uh, we never seem to lose. We always seem to to put in a result, um, get get a result out of the game. Um, but sadly, sadly, my uh, unbeaten streak came to an end against Man United at home last season. But uh, um, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. But um, yeah, we always seem to put in a performance. I don't know if I, I don't know if, if if the if the team can film film my presence there in the stadium. Um, I'm not sure, but um, it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting one. Probably um, not a very entertaining watch. It's gonna it's gonna be a very nerve wracking one. I mean, if if I if I if I if I can barely <laughs> if if I can barely look, look through my own eyes when I'm watching at home. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I'm actually when I'm actually in the stadium there. Um, it might feel better, who knows? It might feel better. Um, because I'm actually truly <laughs> um, sharing sharing my pain and angst with with, you know, thirty thousand others. I still have belief. I still have belief that, that we can get a result out of the game. Um, because we always seem to, we always seem to get a result. Um, you know, we've got a result out of Liverpool, um, three nil. You know, still by far our best performance um, of the season, and probably in the last few years. Um, and even when we weren't playing so well against Spurs, um, we managed to get dig out three points a few weeks ago there um, at home. So. We need to we, we need to bring out we need to bring out the fa famous atmosphere again, um, and I'm sure if if we can if, if we can start playing well, which we do have a we do seem to since we come back into the Premier League we do seem to have a good record um, at home against Chelsea. Um, we we've won quite a few times against them. I remember uh, in Nuno's first season, um, and and during the um, lockdown season which I just mentioned. Um, as well, that was a very important win during that season. I, I, I seem to remember as well. They have, they have had, um, they have had some difficulties recently, but they're going, they're going to be up for it. Like, like Forest were um, uh, at the weekend. Chelsea are going to be up for it. Obviously, they have, you know, an array of talent. There's no denying that. And um, it's debatable whether they have a world class manager or not. Um, they don't. Well. They don't. They don't really at the moment, uh, given Frank Lampard's track record. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see. You know, new man, new manager bounce is always there. Um, whether whether he's been he's been at the club before or not, There's, it's still it's still going to be there. They're still going to be um, up for it and have a point to prove, um, of course, as well. Um, but I hope we can get a result. I hope we can get a result um, and start and start playing from minute one. Because that um, is absolutely vital. Because Chelsea, they have the potential. Um, if we do, if we don't start well on, on Saturday, um, not only to make me incredibly anxious, um, but also, um, yeah, it could it could be uh, we could give ourselves a mountain to climb. But um, we have had a couple of two one victories um, against Chelsea when we have played well against them and got a result. Um, so I think that's what I'll be backing. I'll be backing a narrow win um, because, of course, we don't score many goals. Um, but you know, we do seem to. We always have have to, have done 
uh, we always have played quite well against uh, the traditional top six, and uh, I have belief that we 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 will do again. I'm 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 erring on the side of caution though, of of saying anything. Uh, because I really don't, I really don't want to jinx anything at this point. We really do need a result. But on the flip side of it, though, if we can get a result against Chelsea, and we can also get a result against Brentford as well, and all the results go our way, uh, which has been, um, we, which has come as, as as great relief to me that uh, that uh, other fellow strugglers haven't been performing too well either. That does that does come of great relief to me.